Good morning, everyone. Becky Belote with Creative Memories. I am in Newport News, Virginia, and um, I love sharing ideas. And you know what? My ideas are not hard, <laughs> um, but I hope you like them. Um, there's more people out there that are way more creative than I am, but I sure do love um, sharing um, ideas when I come across them. So Thanks for tuning in and let's go ahead and get started. So today I wanted to give you some tips on how to work with these stinking beautiful pages that Creative Memories has been coming out with. Um, a lot of them are like real photographs that they've made into scrapbook paper. And I've seen my clients like hoard these pieces, like just to look at them <laughs> because they're so pretty and they don't want to cut them and they don't want to cover them up with photos because then you can't see them, but they're meant to be used. So I just wanted to make sure that you um, had some ideas on how to incorporate these into your albums where you can still see how beautiful they are, um, but also see pictures on your page. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and change my screen. Uh, let's see. All right. So um, I um, have a technique that I like to use where, where I just cut strips. Um, and it kind of reminds me of those mosaics. You know, have you ever seen a mosaic where they, they've cut all these little whatever and you can still see the exact same picture, um, but it's, you know, all over the place. Well, this is kind of like that, but only easier. And you can do anything that you want. I'm going to show you a couple of different ideas. What if... I cut two, let's say, um, what if I cut a one inch strip from this side, a one inch strip from this side. So that leaves me 10 inches, right? So let's split this down the middle. Now I'm going to grab some paper. And you can lay them out any way you want to, but I'm going to lay it out like this. So that was one inch on one off of one side, one inch off the other side. And then we had five inches left over. So I split it down the middle. And what that does is it creates a four inch space between this print and this print, which is perfect for fitting photographs in. And when you see these in the scrapbook together, look at how pretty that is. You can see the whole design. Oops, I almost put that upside down. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Um, and so now you can see how I can easily put some photos in the holes and journal boxes and whatever and still get that look. Even if you put, put one partially over, you're still going to be able to see that, that beautiful background. So I probably could do, and these are four by six whole um, mats. If I made them three and a half by five, um, it, you probably would be able to do a beautiful job with your photos still and then get um, more. Um, you could throw um, a circle or an oval up here or a journal box and still see the beauty of this paper. All right. With ones that are um, like this one, I don't think the pattern matters matter matters all that much. So let's do the same um, idea with a different look. So what if I do the one inch again? I'm not even going to go to the other side because I'm not looking for that mosaic look that we did on the other one where it went all the way across. This to me is just a design, even though it is still a photograph. And then I'm going to do the five inch again. I'm going to break out my paper to build on. I use autumn hay with this. I don't know if you've seen this color, but it's really shimmery and super pretty. Um, I love it, love it, love it. So what if we did it this way this time?
And then you still have plenty of room for more mats and still able to see, see your background. We could put them up here, maybe throw one down there so it's not so overpowering, but yet you still get to see that pretty background. All right, so let me show you some other ones. Now this, again, it was one inch, one inch, five inch, five inch. Well, here's some that I've already made. This is with um, uh, both, all of these papers, by the way, are from a line called Leave Nothing Behind. So this is the exact same technique that I just showed on a piece of paper that looked like the Grand Canyon. You can still see the Grand Canyon, right? Um, and I still have room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pictures. Now, this was a two inch strip and a four inch strip. So two, four, two, four. All right. So two inch, two inch, four inch, four inch. Again, the important thing is that you have this four inch space here with nothing so that you can fit, fit stuff in it and still let your pictures show up. So this is leave nothing behind. I've used, um, it comes with a lot of things. It's got embellishments. It's got two packs of paper. Um, it's got um, stickers. It's got embellishments. Actually they're embossed embellishments which means they have some rise to them already. They have some texture. Can you see that on the green one? Super pretty. Um, so um, you're gonna like this line. All right, and then, um, so, so far all of them have been from Leave Nothing Behind, but this one came from Stars and Stripes. Stars, Stars and Spirit, Spirit and Stars. I don't know, yeah, sorry. It's the new one that just came out and I actually built it like this. And again, this is two inch, four inch, four inch, two inch. And I actually kind of flipped these to be opposite of each other. Um, I didn't add any stickers or embellishments to this because I thought it was really um, just enough decoration without adding more to it. Um, I did add this journal box and I kind of did that by mistake. Um, but when I did it, I really liked it. So let me just show you how to do that real fast. So I used the gemstone pattern. Um, pick your background color, cut that first with the blue blade. Um, if you don't have the gemstones, like this is the octagon, I mean, a hexagon on the inside. Um, they're great little patterns for doing decoration in journal boxes in particular. Ooh, I got something on there. Something stuck. All right. Before you pull the paper away, make sure you cut it all the way through. All right. So I cut that one with the blue blade. Now I'm going to use the same pattern. I'm going to come back through and cut this with the red blade. First cut. All right. Then what I'm going to do, because I want this to be a journal box, you could perforate it and just make it a journal box the way it is. It's going to look pretty just the way it is if you want to just um, perforate it. But I just thought for a different look, it would be fun to chop it up. <laughs> so um, what I did is I lined up my humps with lines to keep this nice and straight. So the humps of my hearts are lined up. And then I'm just kind of cut. Go ahead and cut out a waist strip. And I and so I'm going to scoot it over probably to that first line there, the, this first line. And I'm going to throw that away. And you'll see why in a minute. All right. And now I'm going to keep scooting up to there. And I'm going to still cut, but I'm not going to throw anything else away. I might have to put it back in. We'll see. I haven't tried this since the time that I did it, <laughs> but I think this will work. I might not have to throw it out. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to want the red blade. I think when I did this the first time, I did the green blade and it didn't give me any wiggle room for adding these back in with the, um, the spacing the way it is. So I think I might put it back in. Let's see. 
Let's see what this looks like. All right, so if I put that in and space it just a little bit. So instead of perforating to get little lines, you're just seeing color come through. I just thought it was kind of a different look. I think I am gonna leave that piece out. Kind of make these a little bit closer like that. In fact, we had a little heart at my daughter's wedding. This would have been beautiful for her. This one's a little bit long. I don't really like the way that looks. But if I put it back in, let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't feel like I can put it back in. So we're just going to have to, maybe I'll push this one up because that one's the one that's not going to be as obvious. You like it? All right, so that's that. And then again, let's show you the finished product again here on the page. Isn't that super cute? Maybe throw a sticker there um, if, if it wasn't already. I, I just feel like this is enough with all the stars and stripes. But for those of you that aren't easily distracted, a nice sticker blob would look cute there too. All right, that is all that I have for you today. I really appreciate you watching me. Um, and I hope that you will try the one, five, five, one, or the two, two, four, four, um, when you're building your pages fast. Thanks so much. And